Hello, React Native Developers. I hope you are well. William here, recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. We just reached 10,000 subscribers on this channel. And I would like to take advantage of this occasion to do three things. First, to let you know how thankful I am for all the great support you are providing to the channel. To this day, you have offered me more than 128 coffees. Wow, that's a lot of coffees. And the Can It Be Done in React Native series wouldn't be nearly as exciting as it is today if not for all the great episode suggestions you are sending me. So please keep sending me amazing episode suggestions. And a big thank you for all the great feedback you are providing me. It would be very hard for me to go anywhere with this YouTube channel without all the feedback you are providing me with. When I got originally started, I was blissfully ignorant about all the technical challenges that can arise when building delightful user experiences in React Native. At the same time, I was unaware of all the great innovations that were built in this space. And this discovery, the discovery of the technical principles we need to apply in order to build incredible user experiences in React Native has become the main driver on this channel. We want to make a strong case for declarative gestures and animations in React Native. So instead of crossing the native bridge every time we want to do something and thereby making sure that we will drop frame, we want to use React Native Gesture Handler, React Native Reanimated, as well as great modules that integrate with it, such as React Native SVG, to declare all gestures and animations up front. So what's next? I'm having a lot of fun doing these videos, and there are some really cool videos which are scheduled in the near future. And I'm primarily doing it in order to challenge myself. And now I would like to provide a course on declarative gestures and animations in React Native. The goal of this course is really to provide all the fundamentals that are necessary when building credible user experiences in React Native. So if you are interested, stay tuned on this channel. I will announce it very soon. And really, the goal here is for you to look at the can it be done in React Native videos and examples, and for these examples to, to look trivial, because you will have learned all the necessary fundamentals uh, when it comes of building declarative gestures and animations in React Native. Now I would like to share with you why I'm having so much fun doing React Native development at the moment. And I hope that in turn, you will share in the comments uh, why you love or maybe hate uh, React Native. I'm very excited for two reasons. The first reason is the React programming model. I find it to be an extremely powerful uh, programming model. And in fact, uh, personally, uh, developer holy grail has been achieved, um, especially the fact that we have a, a single type system for all the layers of the application, the presentation styling layer and the application layer. I remember uh, doing uh, web development a while back and you would have the middleware returning some HTML, some embedding some JavaScript code, some CSS, and there were absolutely no static connection between all these different layers. Um, to me, it was a bit of a nightmare, and now everything is under the same roof, single type system using TypeScript. Uh, I find it to be incredible. And obviously, the React program component programming model is extremely powerful. It seems to have inspired a lot of other technologies. And the second reason I'm very excited about React Native is that to me, it's a bit the best of both worlds in the sense that we are sitting on this incredible innovation and yet we get to do a lot of uh, hacking. So React, is an, React Native is an incredible technology. And then you have tools like Expo, which enable us to achieve an incredible level of productivity and uh, to have a web-like agility building Android and iOS applications. But at the same time, we still get to hack things around. I'm thinking about, uh, for instance, reanimated, where we have to do a lot of low level work and, for instance, uh, implementing some uh, mathematical formulas, uh, cubic Bayesian functions, you name it. And even things like React hooks, which are arguably extremely low level. And um, you really need to have a, a deep understanding of, um, of uh, React life cycles and even uh, JavaScript. Uh, objects, identities, and so on. So, you know, if you go on Twitter, if you go on GitHub, you know, people are, are still trying to figure it out. I really love this atmosphere where we are actually uh, still 
uh, trying to figure it out together. And yet we are still uh, sitting on this incredible innovation to, to build apps. So to me, it's a bit really the best of both worlds where we, we, we are extremely productive. We can do uh, really, really cool things, but we still have this uh, hacking feeling. I, I really love it. So these were the three things I wanted to, to do today. Let you know how thankful I am for all the amazing support you are providing to this channel. A big thank you. And I wanted to let you know about the direction of this channel going forward, as well as why I'm so excited about uh, React Native development at the moment. I am looking forward to talk to you guys soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking.